Good morning guys. It's uh, 5.30 in the morning and the sunrise is up finally. We can see it. It's been a while since I've seen the sun or the sunrise to be honest. It's, uh, it's really beautiful. Today at 8.30 we are going to Karangaman. So I'm just gonna have breakfast before that and uh, try to enjoy the weather before it starts raining again if you guys want to follow my new fashion here it is look at that my slippers and socks I'm gonna go to the beach now try to fly the drone get some deep forests and videos and uh, then I have to go back for breakfast and it has to be before 8.30 because I need to go to Kalangaman as well early in the morning before the sun arrives and just go to the beach enjoy the breeze smell the ocean and uh, enjoy the beach morning full with water <laughs> really bad weather yesterday <laughs> I'm going Kalangaman Gonna go around the corner because I think the weather is calmer there. So I can fly the drone. I did try to fly it down there, but it was it was very windy. So I think just around the corner it's gonna be a lot calmer. So from this side of the island, you can see the guys uh, doing their morning routine and cleaning the beach and also the front area of their hotel. I'm sure they're gonna come down to here because this is where the water is going to come up earlier, later on today. Now it's a low tide, but later on it's going to be a high tide. So it's going to be nice and clean for the tourists. And the sun is up. I like it so far. Also, I can see the dark clouds down there. And that makes me worry as well. I think I'm in a private area here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to fly the drone. But I'll give it a try.
Okay guys, I've managed to fry the drone and uh, I'm going now to get some breakfast and then I'm going to Kalangaman because I'm already late oh, and I got tan as well it's so hot now <laughs> I'm not complaining, finally the way was getting better hopefully we'll stay that way and uh, yeah, I've got 20 minutes to get back and uh, then next time I'll see you, it'll be on our way to Kalangaman. Hey guys, breakfast is served. I've got my coffee, eggs, sausages, and bread. The girls just gonna give me some juice now, and uh, I'm gonna have this breakfast video really quick because uh, 8 30 I'm picked up and then we have to go. So, see you later. This is yesterday, this is the north side of Malapasta Island. The weather is a lot better now. The beach is cleaner as well. And uh, yeah, there's something else that I didn't tell you and I didn't have time. I was negotiating with my friend um, Leo Mart. Apparently, they've cancelled the trip to uh, Kalangaman today. Uh, the guard, the coast guard, uh, are not allowing us to go over there because of uh, weather conditions. There will be some. There will be some rain later on. Uh, maybe that's why they're just taking precautions. But other than that, uh, at least I get to enjoy this beach here. What I did instead, because uh, I paid money, I paid some deposit yesterday. I took a motorbike, so it's my first time riding a motorbike to be honest and uh, I'm still not really confident but I'll get there so I'll record a little bit later when I just enjoy the beach first. It's not hot at all. How is it in London?
we're getting back to the swimming pools. Oh, this is scary as well. This is my first experience driving a motorbike. I think I'm quite good. <laughs> Let's not say a big look, but there you go. Now, this is a big challenge here. And people coming just across. So, I'll just go to the left. Very tricky here. <laughs> Some lunch. Well, oh, that was an adventure. Whew, first time driving a motorbike in these conditions. I think I did well. Okay, I need some aircon. Yes.
best lunch ever. I'm literally in a former coot. Not a former coot. Food coma. So delicious. I've literally demolished everything. I've cleaned the plates. I'm just gonna sit back, relax, enjoy my beer. It's so good. That food was amazing. I think I've uh, accomplished all the tasks for today and all the places that I should go. So I'm just expecting and waiting for the news tomorrow. If uh, my dream trip to Kalangaman Island is happening or not. If it's not happening, I'm leaving. If it's happening, I'll stay. So fingers crossed. Hopefully it'll be we'll get some good news. Look at this brand new boat. Brand new. They just painted it. Okay, I'm gonna go this way guys. It's a nice place. It's good to try other routes all the time because you don't know what you can find. So guys, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere again. Just trying to explore hidden paths and the routes. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I think I'm going to a private property again. Hopefully they won't shoot me. Very private, very dirty. Vegetarian vegan restaurant. What, on the boat? Seriously? Vegetarian vegan restaurant on the boat. Yeah, looks nice. Yeah. Nice boat. I don't know where they're going for, it's just like for excursions and stuff. Okay, I can see the clouds again, so that means in the afternoon it's gonna be raining again. Look at this. This is the bamboo that they're making the boats from. They basically bend them so they can lay down the, the water. To be honest, I've seen lots of spiders, the same way they have lots of legs, and you know, how, how they balance themselves when they're in water so I think they've got the same principle to their boats Filipino boats I forgot the name I need to I need to do my research but yeah okay I see the cars are coming back now I'm gonna go back to my room and try to organize my next adventure because until today I had everything booked like accommodation not the transport, the transport, but this I knew where I'm going. And uh, now, that's it, for another week, I've got nothing. So I'm gonna just go back and uh, you know, see where the wind's gonna take me this time. And again, I'm taking the shortcuts, just in the back streets. I think I came through here earlier. I'm not sure, everything looks absolutely the same. <laughs> and I was right. This is the market. I'm actually considering to buy some beers for my room until I'm chilling, but I'm so full now that I don't even want to drink anymore. I just want some water. My Ferrari is still here. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'll be driving anymore. Okay, I just got my laundry as well. Sorted. Have thoughts for next week. Thank you very much. There you go. That's how you do it. Oh. I filled up my tumbler with ice cold water to keep me very fresh and hydrated. Yes. Let us the party begin. Got my beers, got my bondages. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I got myself. Some extra band aids, and uh, I'm gonna just fix myself. What the heck is that? Where did that came from? Is it raining? That's weird. 
Okay, so basically what we're saying that I'm just gonna stick all these band aids on my feet because they're all in so so bad. Yeah. This is what happens when you don't wear the right size shoes or slippers. Or comfortable slippers or shoes, same thing. It's just like you have to wear something comfortable otherwise you're just gonna ruin your feet and uh, especially when you're out exploring and uh, that on adventurous paths and the boots you definitely need something comfortable okay it is raining again maybe you can't see it but slowly it's starting there you go just be prepared for the worst okay my bike is gone I left the key at the reception by the way for the owner to collect it but they didn't even say anything they just collected it so tonight I'm just gonna stay in apparently if it if it keeps raining I'm gonna be drinking my red horse Filipino beer really good to be honest I'm um, have no complaints as long as it's cold beer I'm happy Uh, guys it's about seven o'clock in the evening now it's so dark that it feels it's maybe midnight so, people just having dinner a drink enjoying the nice weather fortunately it didn't rain tonight it didn't rain that's the reason why I'm out so I'm so happy. Second floor is packed by the way. You can't see that many people downstairs because it's just like uh, school life equipment and washing up. But upstairs was packed. And this is another bar. You got it on the beach as well. People just sitting there. And uh, it's definitely a lot busier than this area. Hello ladies. The girls are still here offering massage. I should have taken advantage, but uh, I don't know. I'm just like so busy running around exploring the places. And uh, when I'm in London, I do feel like I need a massage, but when I'm here, I'm, I'm totally fine. This is the area. This is my place. Look at this. All the lights. Bar on the second floor, bar on the first floor, lights out here. I think I'm the first client as well. So I'm just gonna stick around and see what happens uh, later on the night. First, I'm gonna have something to eat. Alright, guys, I'm back in the same place, same table, and this time I'm gonna try something different. For the drink, we're going for the same thing, so. A pint of actually a half liter of Heineken draft. Now I'm gonna try different food. Hopefully they got a squid today because uh, tonight, because today in the, in the afternoon, in the lunchtime they didn't have it. So I'm gonna try again. Salad maybe. Ooh, should we go for salad? As I said earlier, there's so many options like you can go. Uh, and half whatever you want. Thank you. I'm, st I'm still deciding. So. <laughs> Honestly, I can't choose. There's so many things. Okay. Maybe that will help. Cheers, guys. Ooh. Every looks so delicious, guys. Honestly, le let me show you. Look at this. This is what I'm going for. And all the rest. <laughs> I can stay here all day and just eat. Alright, that was difficult to choose. So basically, I wanted the calamari again and they didn't have it. So I think they just didn't get delivery with calamari today which is unfortunate um, so I went for 
chicken of course and uh, and some uh, green salad so I'm just gonna keep it light and uh, then move on to the other place and uh, get some more drinks uh, I don't want to stay too late tonight because uh, I'm expecting to be a really really tough day tomorrow in terms of decisions and journeys because uh, if the Kalangaman trip is on I'm gonna get on that one and go to Kalangaman if, if they cancel the trip again I'm just gonna head up straight to uh, the port take the ferry go to Maya port from Maya port the bus to um, Cebu and from Cebu north to Cebu south I'm taking another bus and down to South of Cebu. So yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Matsa just arrived. And it looks amazing, delicious. I've tried it. Very good. I just can't complain about this place. Everything is so good, except they don't have squid. But yeah. If I stay tomorrow in Malapasco Island, I'll try again. I'll come back here and I'll try what's squid. If they don't have it, ooh, I'm very judgeful about this. going through the dodgiest dodgiest alleyways ever it's so dark you can't see anything people just like having their own parties drinking and uh, just enjoying themselves <laughs> and I'm just trying to get home okay uh, seriously now I'm lost honestly I'm sure I took the wrong way <laughs> again what is this? How am I supposed to pass by? I found a way, I found a way. Just follow the tourist. Yes. Actually there was a guy who was, um, who was driving earlier and uh, he had no lights on so you can't even see him. You can hear him but you don't know where he's coming from because he's so dark honestly. Such an experience to just even be a pedestrian here in the, <laughs> on the island specifically. I don't know about other places, but <laughs> probably it's the same. Oh, it's, <laughs> it just makes it so fun and interesting. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I'm all, almost there, guys. Almost there. There's a park, I might join them. Watch out. <laughs> 